What is up everyone? Welcome to week 7. So this week we're starting uh, the couple weeks doing lower maturities and maybe not all the missions that I can do because I'm trying to save up some pets for uh, Halloween Mayhem. But I'm still, I still want to do uh, uh, a few missions and, and keep gaining some tokens. Um, so yeah, let's uh, see how week uh, 7 went. So we're gonna start with the crafting. And we did a couple. Uh, I think we did three of them. Oh, actually two. Yeah, so let's begin with Jester D1. That cost us 40 ped. And we got back... 31.8 so that's minus 8.6 no blueprints or anything fun there and then we did some uh, f101 40 ped as well then we got back 36.4 bit better uh, down 3.5 and we got a uh, teratech uh, ph2 uh, blueprint which is nice that's my first time getting that one let's move on to mining we did one mining we tried to get some uh, cumbres, so again, 100 ped in probes. We had a bit of uh, markup costs for a total of 104.55, and we got back 90 ped, so about minus 14, and that's for zero tokens. Uh, we only got 155 cumbres, but we needed 333. But that's still, I still like doing the mining. The, I've always liked mining, but it's gonna cost a lot if I wanna finish those missions and like push it until it's done. Uh, but I'm I'm good with just doing like trying out for a hundred pet and see if if it'll, uh, it if it will complete or not. So now we move on to the hunting. We uh, at the top we have the Argonauts. We did the cave ten times, so we managed to get it done quite a few times. And we get it pulled up here on the tracker, so let's see. It cost us 494.82. And we got back 453. Exactly. So that's minus 41.8 for 10 tokens. No globals or anything, unfortunately. You don't really, I don't know, you don't global that much on Argonauts in the cave, <laughs> so far at least. Uh, next up, uh, Plumater Gus. Now this is a cheap one. It cost us twenty one thirty seven. We got back twenty two seventy seven. So that's one point four ped profit. Very nice. Next, we did some alofils. Now, <laughs> the last two times I did this, I did the big ones, and we lost like one hundred and fifty ped on two hundred big alofils. Found nothing. So this time I did small ones, and let's see how that went. Uh, yeah, so basically just as bad as doing the big alophils. So I don't know, my avatar and alophils really don't match. There, it's really bad. <laughs> so this is probably the last time I'm doing alophils. So 175.32, and we got back 111.9. Minus 63 pad, found nothing. Of significance and then we got some trilomite I think we got this one two times let's see yep two times the, and this only cost us 50 ped and we got back 35 34 minus 15 ped for two tokens not too bad and next up we got some snark snots and again, we're doing the small ones here, so low cost and hopefully low losses as well. So this cost us 12.92 and I got back 11.29 on that. Minus 1.6 ped for one token. And then I I keep doing the Gokubusagi. They're I'm going to keep doing them. I don't know. They they're paying decently well uh, lately. So these are a bit more expensive, it cost us 136.11 and we got back 182.22. So that's plus 46 pet for two tokens. 
that's yeah that's without a global we got quite a few minis on that one that's very nice next up we did some fouls and let's see what's this no this is one time and that cost us 93.51 and we got back 102.37 and that's plus we got a small global two globals 132 and 110 pad uh, so that's plus about nine pad for one token next up we did some a tracks let's see 100 a tracks and that cost us 86.23 and we got back 57.71 so 67 percent minus 28.5 for two tokens next up sabakuma two times one small let's see yeah one small global 11 pad let's see how that one went and this is yeah we went plus here so with the sabakumas i'm doing the big ones uh it's uh, they're fairly cheap so uh, i like doing the big ones the, they, they pay pretty well usually so 126.54 we got back 133.86 plus 7.3 pad for two tokens and then we had some chirpy so <laughs> this cost us one pad yeah no surprise there is uh, what is it 10 10 small chirpies and we got back 0.81 so yeah, basically break even. <laughs> oh, and this was a bonus mission. So 20 tokens for a cost of 20 pack. That's very nice. And then we did some eight wrecks. And these actually pay this time. This one takes quite a bit of time to do since there's only few spawns of uh, low maturity ones and they're quite, uh, sparse so not very dense uh, but this cost us uh, 72.93 and we got back 88.61 so plus 15 and a half ped for three tokens and then we had some snables not female and we did uh, small ones outside camp phoenix or 21.76 and we got back 19.05 Minus 2.7 ped, nothing too bad for one token. Next up, we got some brooms. Uh, last time I did this, I did the maze. It went pretty well. I think we got a, a global. So I tried them again. This time it was the female. And this one went really well as, as well. Uh, I think we got a global here. Uh, yeah, a 63 pad global. On the uh, this was actually on the first kill, I think as well. <laughs> so we had a really good start there. Uh, this cost us 177.39, and we got back 271.68. So plus 94 ped for two tokens, and then a fuga barba. We for the fuga barba, I'm always doing the big ones. Uh, I might as well, it's really cheap and I just want to get up the codex as well as fast as possible. So I, I only do big ones here. But this only cost us 26 pad. And we got back, 1048. I don't worry too much about that. I think I found uh, like 250 pieces of fruit as well. So we get a bit of uh, pad back from that. And then we end the week on Fungoid. Now this was, I wasn't sure if I would, was going to do this because they qu cost quite a bit. And I want to save I save up some pet for Mayhem, but I gambled on them. And unfortunately this time we didn't get like a single multiplier. So this was really bad. But they cost us 82.76 and we got back 48.72. So not even 60% return. And we are done. 34 ped on those so that's the hunting let's check the total for week 7 we are now at 1733 tokens the result for week 7 is minus 45 ped the week cost us uh, 1750 ped with a TT return of 97.4%.
and the cost per token was 80 pick, which isn't bad at all. So let's see the total for all seven weeks. The total, we are down 675 ped. We have cycled about 13,768 ped. The return in TT is 95.1% and the cost per token is 1.99. So that's just below the, the level I'm looking at, about two ped per token. So yeah, I mean, that's not too bad actually. Uh, still no uh, profit week but i hope it's uh, it's coming soon uh, i'm gonna keep doing these a bit more cheap runs uh, until mayhem then i'm gonna go kind of hard on mayhem and then we'll see uh, after mayhem how we proceed with the, the the daily missions so yeah thank you guys for watching and see you on week eight.